In the heart of Jakarta, a Chinese tradition pulsates with life, connecting ancient customs with modern sport. In Indonesia, dragon boat racing is not confined to the ethnic Chinese community. It's a testament to Indonesia's ability to adopt, embrace, and excel. Dragon boat racing has been a part of the Chinese culture for centuries, and here in Indonesia, it's somewhat a symbol of diversity because, as you can see, the athletes here come from different age groups, religion, and ethnicity. 20-year-old Malati fell in love with dragon boat racing in high school. For her, this isn't just a sport. It's an homage to a culture she's always admired. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. I fell in love with it instantly, and I was very fascinated with the sport and the culture. My uncle introduced me to it because he used to be a racer too when he was younger. For Malati, the aspirations are high. For her coach, it's higher. What I'm working on now is to discipline the athletes because they are young. Sometimes it is hard to teach them the importance of a good diet and good sleep. So right now I'm teaching them to have a different and better mindset to achieve the next goals. Indonesia already boasts achievements in dragon boat racing on global platforms, including Sea Games and Asian Games. A lot of my athletes have met Indonesia's national team as well. I'm very proud of them, and most of them now are already in China, preparing for the Asian Games. For Malati and many like her, the dragon boat isn't just a vessel on water. It's a vessel of dreams, ambitions, and cultural pride. In the rhythmic beat of the drums and the strokes of the paddles, Indonesia finds its pulse. Here, in the country, the legend of the dragons lives on. Silkina Aluwalia, CGTN, Jakarta.